Dear viewer, welcome to the unique art world of the German painter and church architect Hortensa von Gelmeni. The Art of Praising the Lord is a presentation about the exceptional German artist Hortensa von Galmeni. Hortensa was born in 1947 in Bolzano, Italy. As a young girl, she was declared a child prodigy because of her amazing musical talent, and even at a young age she viewed herself to be a living creature with her head in heaven. In 1961, at the age of 14, she was admitted to the State Musical Academy of Freiburg, where she studied piano, clarinet, trombone, trumpet, and cello with the ultimate goal of becoming a conductor. By the age of 21, Hortensa von Galmeni had her own chamber orchestra named Orchestra Galmeni and went on tour through the great concert halls of Europe, including the world-famous Festspielhaus in Salzburg, as well as the Meistersingerhall in Nuremberg. In addition, she recorded classical pieces by Bruckner and Schubert, among others. But this rising star had other things in mind besides becoming a famous conductor. Spirituality and faith has always been the biggest part of Hortensa's life. By the age 27, she had discovered another powerful medium to express her faith, painting. Hortensa painted her first pieces in 1974. Since then, the artist has developed a unique pictorial language which is deeply rooted in Christian theology and the mysteries of the faith. Up to now, her art portfolio encompasses over 800 paintings and drawings, hundreds of computer graphics and India ink paintings. As you are about to see, these works include a variety of categories including reflections of the human soul, as well as unique portraits from nature. Hortensa von Galmeni is not only a painter, she is also an interior designer and architect, incorporating her own art into the style and design of churches. The altar motifs you see here begin with the birth of Christ and carry one through the entire church calendar year. The blue motif is on display during Advent. The red motif during the Easter season. Since the altar is the central element of proclaiming the gospel, a church without an altar leaves an empty impression. Technically speaking, changing these altar screens requires very little effort. They are fixed on poles such that the entire altar can be rotated according to the church season in a matter of seconds. The frames of the altar screens and poles are coated with gold leaf. This next section shows a selection of altars by Hortensa von Galmeni. All of her altars are unique pieces painted with acrylic on canvas. Her works declare the essence of the Christian faith. The altar screens are tilted 45 degrees so that they point toward the heavens as a reminder of God's presence. Another motif is that Jesus Christ declared himself to be the cornerstone of the church. The Christmas cycle of the St. Rochus altar shows the nativity scene in the center surrounded by events related to the Christmas story and then Jesus' three-year ministry. You are now looking at the Easter side of the St. Rochus altar. The three altar screens in the middle row show the death and resurrection of Christ leading up to Pentecost. Other events such as the Last Supper or the betrayal of Jesus 
are grouped around these central gospel accounts. The St. Francis altar features eight altar screens on each side. The Christmas side of the St. Francis altar focuses on the miracles of Christ. Important events from biblical history such as the expulsion from paradise, the Ten Commandments, and the feeding of the 5,000 are grouped here around the center screen which portrays the Sermon on the Mount. On the Easter side, all events revolve around the Passion of Christ and the Advent of the Holy Spirit. Motifs such as the Last Supper or the Crucifixion invite one to meditate on His suffering and salvation for us. The Gloria Dei altar does not rotate like the others. This altar motif is composed of three distinct circles displaying the Christmas story, the Passion of Christ, and Pentecost. This rosary altar does not revolve. It consists of three huge altar screen motifs displaying the mysteries of the rosary. The left side portrays the joyful mysteries. In the center motif are the glorious mysteries. On the right side we see the sorrowful mysteries. This Marian altar comes with a large revolving altar screen. The slide shows the coronation of Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. This backside of the screen portrays a scene from Revelation 12 with Mother Mary in the Apocalypse. This next section presents a selection of Hortensia von Galmeni's religious series. All series and paintings are available as high-definition reprints on canvas and also as postcards. In this slide are presented the seven last words of Christ. From left to right, we see Jesus saying, Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Slide 2. I tell you this, today you will be with me in paradise. Slide 3. Woman, here is your son, and here is your mother. Slide 4. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Slide 5. I am thirsty. Slide 6. It is finished. Slide 7. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. This series is a portrayal of the Ten Commandments. From left to right we see Slide 1. You shall have no other gods but me. 2. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. You shall remember and keep the Sabbath day holy. Honor your mother and father. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You shall not covet your neighbor's property. Here we see the Hail Mary prayer in six paintings from left to right. Hail Mary, full of grace, our Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and now and at the hour of our death. Here we have the seven sacraments from left to right. Forgiveness from sin, marriage, baptism, the Eucharist, confirmation, holy orders, and last rites. Here we have creation in the light of eternity, paradise and the fall of mankind, expulsion from paradise, Cain slays Abel, the baptism of Christ, Christ on the cross, and the second coming. This series is entitled, And the Word Became Flesh. Slide 1, The Annunciation of Gabriel to Mary. 2, The Visitation of Mary to Elizabeth. 3, The Birth of Christ. 4, The Visit of the Magi. 5, King Herod. 6, Escape from Bethlehem to Egypt. 7, Simeon Blesses the Christ Child. This series portrays the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The last series in this section reflects the events from the Passion Week through Pentecost. This beautiful mixture and contrast of colors and designs will lead worshipers into a deeper reflection upon mysteries of the faith. The first painting seen from the left depicts the crucifixion. 
Second, the last three words of Jesus on the cross. Third, the crucified Christ held by Mary. Fourth, the resurrection. Fifth, Jesus appears to his disciples. Sixth, the coming of the Holy Spirit. We now proceed to another selection of paintings from Hortensia von Galmeni. To round out this series, we present to you now a variety of both religious and non-religious works. Here we have a unique rendition of the birth of Christ. Here is one of Hortensia von Galmeni's earlier, more introspective works, entitled Lonely Man. This work depicts the transfiguration of Christ, a revelation of the glory of the Son of God. Peacock Musica Viva Mother and Child Conceit The Holy Spirit Death is swallowed up in victory And now, computer art. Jack of Hearts, one, two, and three. Twist of Colors. Astralon. Finally, let's have a look at the church architecture of Hortensia von Galmini. Here you see several sketches from Hortensia von Galmini's church architecture portfolio. In this video, you are seeing a church that was actually built and designed according to the specifications of Hortensia von Galmini. Here there are models, the exterior of the church, interior design as well. Note the ten stations of the cross. Inlaid marble and gold individual artworks are the length of the center aisle of the church which lead to the altar which is, of course, the centerpiece of Hortensia von Gemini's church architecture. We sincerely hope that we have captured your interest with this virtual art exhibition. If so, and you'd like more information regarding any of the pieces of art that you've seen here in this presentation, contact Art Foundation Libertas per Veritatum at the following address. Limeweg, L-E-I-M-I-W-E-G-7 in 79289 Horben, H-O-R-B-E-N, Germany, or by phoning country code 49 761 2852 928 or email contact at lpystiftung at web.de.